Hi everybody, Mr. Piercy here, and what we're going to be uh, looking at today in our constructions lesson is how to make parallel lines. And uh, so the definition of parallel lines in high school geometry has to have a little bit of uh, extra specification to it is that we can't just say parallel lines are lines that don't intersect. We have to say that they're coplanar lines that don't intersect because we also have skew lines that are non-coplanar lines that also don't intersect. So uh, since we'll use the paper as uh, our plane, obviously, in this case, the lines that we will construct because they won't intersect fit the definition of what parallel lines actually are. So how are we going to do this? So again, just as always, you need your compass and a straight edge in order to uh, make sure that your constructions are the same, are uh, happening properly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of come down here to the bottom part of my paper. And I'm going to draw a line segment. Uh, I'm making this one a little bit longer than I've made some of my other basic line segments. And we'll call this one AB just to give it something to be called. And what we want to do is we want to construct something that is parallel to AB. Now, I'm going to make it above AB, but you could obviously do it below AB as well. And uh, I'm going to say I want it to go, I want it to be parallel to AB, and I want it to go through that point right there. And we can call that point, uh, we'll call that point D. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. Now, the parallel lines construction is very similar uh, to the way that we're going to do it. Uh, like the copying an angle construction is. So if you haven't seen the copying an angle construction video yet, you might want to uh, pause this one and go check that one out. Uh, but either way, this one will be uh, pretty much the same kind of construction. Now, I might want to move that point D down a little bit because I might be up getting up into my words that I wrote here a second ago. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to draw a ray or I'm going to draw a segment from point B and I'm going to make it go to point D but I'm not going to stop at point D. That's what a lot of people uh, do originally is they, they want to, we know we want to have something that's parallel to AB and it goes through this point here but uh, in order to be able to do that we can't just draw a line from B to D and be able to finish our construction. What we actually have to do is make the line that we draw make it go through D and I'm going to see if I can go stop right there so okay and this is where the similarities between copy and angle come into play here uh, what we did oh, and I went a little bit past there what we did in copy and angles is I placed the point of my compass at the vertex of the angle and that's essentially what we have right now is we have an angle and we want to copy the angle. So how far down do you want to go? Now obviously I don't want to go that far down because uh, if I come up here with my compass, I'm going to go past the point that I'm trying to work with. So I don't want to go that far down. So maybe I'll kind of look at it here and say, well, maybe we'll go, I don't know, that. maybe that's two-thirds of the way down uh, from point B to point D. And what I'm going to do is make an arc between the two sides of the angle. I th that looks like it's dark enough for everybody to see it. So next thing I'm going to do, just like if I was copying an angle, is I'm going to copy that arc. Now keep in mind what we're trying to do is we're going to go through this point, you know, this way or this way, and so somewhere side to side I need another point in order to be able to draw my line. So I'm going to make this arc a little bit longer than it probably needs to be. So that way I know when I draw my line segment from D to somewhere else that I'll be able to have another point of reference over here to work with. So I want to make this one a little bit longer than I think it would be to, to have a line that's going straight uh, horizontally this way. Now. Here's the second part of uh, pretty much, again, copying an angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the compass to be the width, whatever the distance between 
Ooh, and I'm off a little bit there. That looks better. And let me go ahead and name these things. I'll call this one. Uh, let's call this one K and J. And I'll put this one here as L. Okay. Just so we have something to name. You don't have to actually put points there. Uh, but I'm just naming them just because. So once we've opened up the distance here between J and K, I'm going to come up here to point L and mark where a new intersection would be. And I'm going to call that one point C because I'm in my head, I knew in my mind I wanted to I wanted to make CD. I wanted to make line segment CD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, straight edge here. I'm going to line it up with points uh, C and D. And there that, that looks uh, pretty okay to me. And well, let me scoot it over just a tad. And we'll kind of, oh, it looks like I missed D just a, just a slight hair there. But it looks pretty good. Now, uh, it looks good. Let's see how it actually measures. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm not going to measure it with my ruler. Uh, I'm going to kind of say okay. Oh, oh, close up a little bit. I want to know how far is it from here to here. And maybe maybe the compass isn't going to be the best thing to do because I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to hold it even. But it's kind of like that here. So if they're parallel, you can see they should be pretty much that way all the way down. The distance between the pencil and the uh, point of the compass isn't changing, so you can see that the distance between these two line segments, A, B, and C, D, uh, is the same. So that looks to me like they are relatively parallel to each other. Uh, now, if we needed to clean this up a little bit to continue working on uh, building a bigger shape uh, with our compass and straight edge, uh, then we could obviously erase some of the extra line here, here, or however we needed to do it. Um, but since we're going to just stop here, uh, again, I'm going to leave the construction marks as evidence of my work the same way that uh, we show our steps in an algebra problem. So uh, I want you to practice this you know, a couple times, three times maybe, just to make sure that you can do it. If you did well with the angle uh, copying, then you should do OK with this one. Um, but a lot of times when I see kids try to do this for the first time, even though they go through the step, they go through the motions pretty well, uh, the line that they, that they make is really not parallel. It either closes down really bad or it goes up really bad that way. So, uh, anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Take this video, try practicing this uh, construction a few times until you feel comfortable doing it, and uh, until next.